there guys, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Coach Shardongster Born Bub, built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, at Frysit Land Geiselwind, you couldn't stay over. However, that is scheduled to change, my fine fellows and ladies, because we've got 22 bungalows being built at the park. I'm gonna share all the latest construction, and we're gonna share all the latest construction photos, share the details of what's going on, and also my thoughts on this overnight development. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, as well as getting in your questions for the 2,000 subscriber Q&A video, which will be filmed on Christmas Eve. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And also, guys, look in the description down below where you can submit your video ideas using the Google Forms link. You could submit uh, your votes. It's the last day to get the votes in for the Clamshell Awards 2020. Uh, please use the website link in the description. Go and look about how you vote. Uh, when you have to vote by the deadline is the 23:59 p.m. today so please get your votes in before the end of today the website link will tell you how to do it make sure you go check out the website it'll tell you how to vote please go and do that today's the last day i'd love to round up the year with an award also in the description check out instagram twitter tiktok and snapchat I'm trying to hopefully in the future upload more on TikTok and hopefully uh, there'll be more still to come on Twitter and Instagram as well. Snapchat's just my personal one as well. So if you want to follow all four of them, be my guest. And for now, guys, let's have a look at what's going on at Frysit Land Park, Geiselwind with their new 22 bungalow overnight destination project. So according to Theme Park Central, which is where the construction pictures officially came from, but of course they were posted originally by the park themselves, but they were on Theme Park Central's article on this. Spending the night in the Frysit Land Geiselwind is currently not possible, but this will soon change as they are building a holiday park to increase the number of visitors in the theme park. They'd like to establish themselves as a multi-day destination in the future, and the park is currently building a holiday park with 22 bungalows. In addition to the overnight accommodation for visitors, the holiday park will also be a restaurant, a farm building, and apartments for employees will be built. The entire theme park will be given a pirate theme. The, the whole park will be given a pirate theme, so this is going to be a pirate-themed holiday park. Now, there is no exact opening date, but the first earthworks have already started. However, there's still a few things to clarify, including how many visitors to the holiday park get to the Frysit land. Plans for the access road have not yet been completely approved, so it will be an exciting construction project, and there'll be more up-to-date information found on the park's official website, and I've actually linked uh, the park's official website in the description down below you can actually check out exactly what's been happening and what's exactly going to happen uh, so you can check out the latest for yourself um i've got the official construction diary website which will be linked in the description of this video so make sure you go check that out because it's worth a watch i'll be watching that myself of course to get more construction updates on this project now we already know that for 2021 the park will investing in a brand new themed area called forbidden kingdoms in the forest area behind the cobra coaster with the brand new Merlin and the Magic Circle attraction which is of course uh, their catapult ride uh, it's a slingshot from fun time now there's an attraction called Ramesses also been announced and it could mean the walkthrough attraction Valley of the Kings which is already on the park area now the attraction disappeared from the scene several years ago and should shine with new splendor in the fries it land geysel wind and it's one of the longest transportable walkthrough attractions worldwide if the attraction doesn't tell you anything uh, there is an older video on YouTube about this attraction so you can go and check that out so you know is the valley of the the kings going to be opening with this brand new area in the park we don't know uh, obviously there's the attraction of the, the name of Ramses as an attraction so whether that's a rethemed valley of the kings we don't know uh, however we know about Merlin and the magic circle so that already we know they've got some dry park stuff going on we know they've got some brand new attraction well brand new attraction and a refurbished area of the forbidden kingdoms to go with the cobra coaster in the woods behind it uh, for 2021 however the main focus of this video is of course the pirate themed holiday park with no confirmed opening date make sure you go check out the construction diary link in the description of this video and i can't believe this is going to be a piratey project Arr. so there we go that is looking at the first official update on the brand new pirate themed holiday park with 22 bungalows a farm building a restaurant and also some employee private buildings as well that's all coming to the park no opening date but it will be coming with a pirate theme the access road has not yet been completely approved in terms of planning for that 
um, and they don't know exactly how many visitors into the Frysit land. However, it is a very exciting project to start following, and I think that this is a great overnight project. And I think that maybe, I mean, we've seen this in the past, you know, with, uh, with hotels and, you know, overnight destinations. Is this the start of Frysit Land Geiselwind becoming a more popular theme park? Is this the start of the park becoming a more major theme park? Are we going to see loads of brand new investments once this holiday park is underway? We've seen investments in the past few years, but are we going to see even more investments once the holiday park is open? It remains to be seen, but I think with an overnight destination coming into the park, they're certainly making themselves more of an overnight theme park. And of course, it won't be long until they start adding more attractions. It's going to make them a more overnight theme park. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be wonderful. I can't wait to keep covering the updates. I can't wait to see more of the construction diary. So please, please, please go in the description. Check out the construction diary for yourself. Shout out to the park because you're putting in a fantastic project. Thank you very much guys for watching this video on the Frysitland Geiselwind pirate themed holiday park project. I can't wait to do more coverage of this. But for now guys, make sure you stay tuned for more on that and also more on the 2021 investments in the Forbidden Kingdoms area, which is what they're opening next year in the park, the theme park I mean. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss another video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell, Dongster Bomb, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a pirate-tastic day. Arr.